Superman was captured and brought forth before Dark Father. He was then strapped into a device that admitted every single kryptonite known in the universe. Today we take a look at the Dark Metals, Dark Knight's Death Metal Superman. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. Welcome everyone back to the cave. We are here looking at part two of Build a Figure Dark Father. And today we have Dark Dark Metal's Death Metal Superman. The Superman that was captured by Dark Father and imprisoned on that machine that emitted the kryptonite from the known universe. I gotta say, love the figure, love the aesthetics. Love the look, everything about this. Not to mention it kind of looks like me in my younger age with the long hair. But that's a different story. All together now looking at this, we'll begin as usual looking at what comes with the figure. And we'll start with the uh, stand as usual. McFarlane was kind enough to give us the DC stand with the logo. So you guys can see there. Nothing different, nothing new. Put that to the side there. We'll take a look at the trading card. As usual, I always mention to you guys that I don't know what you're doing with these cards. I'm keeping them and putting them in a binder, collecting them. And kudos to McFarlane for not using the actual graphic from the uh, novels, but posting his pictures of his action figures. Good for him on that. And if you guys want to take a moment to read Superman's card, Go ahead and pause the video. I'll put it there for you here real quickly. Okay. And we'll put that to the side. He does come with, I'm very excited, the Dark Father arms. Look at that gauntlet. Look at the gauntlets here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these are not soft plastic. This will hurt putting it together but just looking at the details of that okay and then last but not least I want to show you something and I'm not going to I'm gonna let you know up front I'm not even gonna mess around exchanging the hands but look at the mechanism of this hand here kinda like the Bane setup and then this is the standard mechanism when you're pulling the plugs or pulling the pegs and putting it in. So McFarlane is giving us something a little different. These hands, this one here has got this. I'm not sure, maybe po Superman's pointing or maybe it's for the, um, you know, the uh, metal guitar that comes with the Batman. Again, don't know. I'm not going to exchange it. I'm not going to do that here in the video because honestly, I think Superman looks great with the clenched fist uh, on his hands. Here's the other one. It's even got the Superman ring on him. You know, just to leave his mark. And off the bat, look at the aesthetics of this character. Look at look at everything here. Obviously, you know McFarlane jumped on making this character as soon as he saw it because he's into this whole waist uh, hip chains just like he has on his spawn figures and he even said it he loves the whole putting chains on the characters gives it a more uh, evil or more tougher aesthetics to him this character I can tell you right now I think McFarlane heard me on my last video and um, did what I told him to do <laughs> not sure if he did that or not but I keep saying that if he puts on these boots the material all the way down it does obstruct the leg a little bit but you know what this adds to the ball joint that's there because the joint makes the legs weak McFarlane characters are top heavy like I keep saying in all my other videos look at this guy look at the details of the face it's got the long hair the heavy metal hair maybe for kicks McFarlane should have uh, put a mullet on him and as you can see here, 
He's got the dark side arm infection on there, kind of giving him that winter soldier's look. He's got a regular arm with the straps. And again, I didn't dress like this in the 80s, so I would have probably been locked up. But it's kind of similar to what we looked like in the 80s, uh, walking around with long hair and the leather jackets. He's got these thick boots with the straps. So again, this is just looking great. It's a soft plastic for these straps. They don't really get in the way. And before I even started shooting the video, I was moving him around and saw that the articulation is fantastic on this figure. The proportion of this Superman compared to the regular Superman looks great. It looks beefier, muscular. Um, not like the Red Sun. The Red Sun also tend to have been a little bit skinnier, which uh, I would have liked since you guys know I'm not a big Superman fan, but... I like the different kind of Superman and this is one of them. Also, as you guys can tell in the video before I started, he was able to stand by himself because the boots and that material are helping him. Obviously, it's going to be funny now if it falls and I have to eat my own words on this. But overall, look at the color schemes on this. The, the S or the symbol for hope for Superman the eyes the red glowing eyes on there i mean overall he didn't have to add any type of accessories those two fit the two fists and you can exchange them i just don't want to mess around uh i don't like this mechanism that this fist has and that's why i'm probably going to change well you know what i'm not going to say never let's uh, let me pull superman off screen pull one one fist out let's see what it looks like Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Let's put this one back in. Okay, so you know what? I'm wrong. I just exchanged it right now. It was fairly easy. It came out easily. But again, I don't like that mechanism because it's the same one that the Bane had. And it's sort of like would fall, uh, you know, just like, look, just like this one right here. Exactly what I was saying. And if you guys noticed, it's got that ratchet system. Which, by the way, when I do the review of Cyborg, fantastic action figure. I did take it out. I looked at it. It was fantastic. All right, I'm going to exchange this and put back his fist hand. And once again, the ratchet system is amazing that he's been adding to them. Let's uh, let's take a moment to look over some of the articulations of this figure. And again, it's going to be a very quick video. There's not a whole lot other than the fact that it's just amazing. If you guys are wondering, the chain doesn't have any spikes like the Spawn. And it's very, very pliable and soft material. It's not like the Spawn chain that he has around his waist where it's a little bit spiky and a harder material. It's very, very soft. Almost feels like a balloon type of... Uh, rubbery plastic or something but if we look at the articulation of the head you can turn it side to side looks down looks up he does have a mid torso or you know um, torso crunch it does move side to side on there so he's got articulation his arms are on a butterfly joint as you can see compared to the other figure the uh, Robin King which uh, didn't like too much, but again, it's just more of an aesthetic and a look. One arm has what I believe is double jointed elbows. Yes, I'm correct on that. And it looks like only one arm has one joint on it, which is the dark side arm doesn't have that, but it has a butterfly joint as you can see here, but it's not double hinge like here. The mechanism of the mechanism of the legs, as you can see, he's been adding that kind of mechanism there. As you guys can tell, double, double jointed knees. So I'm going to pull it off camera, pull it back. As you guys can see, he goes all the way back here. And double jointed on the other side as well very very well designed figure I think as McFarlane continues to make these DC characters 
they're just getting a lot better. These are probably the precursors, I think, for his action figures that are coming out. It's got a toll hinge there on the bottom. And like I said, when he makes a character, instead of exposing the ball bearing, he should just put a cover over it. It does help with the stability of the figure. Put this figure down. And I can tell you right now, I am struggling a little bit with him standing up. But if I adjust it here a little bit. Well, again, I got to eat my own words on this. Let me grab the stand. I'm off camera. And the stands are terrible. They don't stay in the peg. You know, no matter what you do, they don't stay on. I'm off camera again. And as you can see, the figures tend to be top heavy as usual, I'm trying to get him to stand up. Man, besides the Azrael uh, armored bat, this guy's giving me a hard time too, and I'm and I was praising already the mechanisms on it. But anyways, as you guys can see, well, could also be the table I'm using, but let's see here. All right, normal there. Let's have him looking at the camera. Now he fell back. But in any case, guys, um, I think it's an excellent figure. It's very comic book accurate. The face seems to be a little bit chubbier than what I'd seen when I read the comic um, on it. But overall, looks great. The S looks fantastic on it. And as we continue to count down to get to Dark Father, which personally, that's the character that I'm looking forward to reviewing. For you guys, uh, I'm going to say these dark metals are looking great. I, one of the things that I don't like that McFarlane did was that he repeated the dark metal Batman only until you can give you that stupid guitar. And yes, I did say that. It, the Batman comes with a stupid guitar. I'm not really into it. But the Superman and the next review, which will be part three, which is the Wonder Woman. I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing that. So again, guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if this is something you're going to pick up. Obviously, if you want to get the Dark Father, you're going to have to pick up all the Dark Metals uh, action figures in this wave, which is for them to build him. Uh, overall, love this Superman. I think I'm going to display him next to my Red Sun, uh, but I'm not going to put the other hands on it. So again, guys, if this is something you're going to get, leave a review. Let's have a conversation. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, let me know your thoughts, what you think, and if you like the show, great. Give it a uh, notification, a thumbs up, and go ahead and subscribe. And if you didn't, well, you didn't like the show, I can't do anything about that. But for the next part, we will be reviewing uh, Wonder Woman, Dark Metal Wonder Woman. So until next time, guys, I'm out.